All right, hey everybody, welcome to Finca del Sol here in Belize. I was gonna do a quick uh, to video tutorial about how to clean these uh, orange trees. This is the Valencia citrus orange uh, orchard here. And you can see we've been working a little bit this morning down there, is some of the trees that we've cleaned up so far. Um, back here is sort of the jungle, how it looks before we get to it. But I'm just gonna show you kind of a quick tutorial about how uh, how these trees are, are kind of cleaned up and maintained. So all this stuff that's growing underneath here is competing with this tree. It's growing up into the tree and sort of taking energy from, from the citrus tree. So basically I'm gonna go and clean all this grass around here and then I'm gonna come real close and sort of pull some of these, these type of weeds or these uh, vines out of the tree. Um, but basically with this machete, I go through and I whack this stuff. And the technique that I'm using is I swing one way and then I turn my machete and I swing back. So I'm getting a, a swing on both sides. I switch my hands sometimes. There's orange is falling all over the place here. Save those a couple of them to eat. And what I do is once I get in to the end, I come in real close and I try to do like a nice real clean chop around the base. Kind of get this really cleaned up. Try to pull any of this stuff that I can out of here. And then I come in and I give this right around the base. See these vines are crawling up and they're attaching to the tree, sucking energy out of the tree. So we pull all this stuff off. Kind of try to pull some of these roots away so that competes less with the you know the base of the tree that way the tree's gonna get more nutrients to put into the the, the fruit <laughs> that's what we want fruit 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 just kind of give this a yeah see these are stuck on here pretty tightly they're definitely you know competing with this tree here how we have fun in the jungle good times taking care of nature so here's an orange that some animal ate all these vines all over here This, uh, this orchard has about 900 trees in it, so it takes a little while to get through all this, but we usually do like one one row a person per day. It's, uh, it's a fair amount of work. It takes us four hours maybe or so to get through it each person. Um, it's a lot of work, but then we, you know, we take care of this land and it, it gives us a lot of fruit. We love fruit. We're also in creating a vet, an intentional vegan community here where people can uh, can have access to some free land that they can build a little tiny home out here in the orchard and work with us and, and kind of join in on the community farming. We're uh, inviting people that, you know, if you have good vegan ethics and, um, you know, we, we don't like to take advantage of animals in any way, 
We just like to take care of the land and grow things as uh, naturally as possible. Everything's done organically and veganically here. So we're not using any kind of chemicals or pesticides or anything like that. I mean, this basically what we just did here, all this, all these uh, little vines and everything that I just chopped out, that's gonna, it's gonna give nutrients back into the soil and feed this tree. So that's the way we fertilize it. We don't use any kind of chemical or unnatural fertilizers, but um, that's basically it. If you saw before, it was, you know, kind of pretty nasty, but I'll do the next tree, but peace, y'all. Be vegan. Research the flat earth. It's real.